A popular effect that adds depth to your graphics and text is to add a drop shadow. In previous versions of Corel Draw, this required many steps. In Corel Draw 8, you can add a drop shadow using just one interactive tool called the Interactive Drop Shadow Tool. Are these guys great at naming things or what? Start with a blank page. Click the text tool on the toolbox, then click on the page to see a text cursor. In the font dropdown, choose Times New Roman. Go to the font size dropdown and type 90. Type the word Corel. Highlight the entire word with your text cursor. From the color palette, choose a 50% tint. You'll notice that we have a graphic of the Corel balloon. Use the pick tool to resize and position the graphic. Do it slowly or you'll make the balloon passengers sick. In the toolbar, click the Interactive Blend tool, then the Interactive Drop Shadow tool. Click on the word Corel and drag the mouse to the bottom right. Notice that the further away I drag the mouse, the further the shadow is from the word. The blue dotted lines indicate where the shadow will be. I can also click on the white slider to darken or lighten the shadow. Click on the Corel balloon graphic. Because we want the balloon to be in front, control click the balloon, choose order, then forward one. I also want the balloon to appear to be floating in front of the word Corel. So choose the interactive drop shadow tool and drag the mouse to the bottom right again. We should make the shadow appear further away from the balloon so it gives the illusion of being closer to the viewer. Notice when I move the graphic the drop shadow is already grouped with the balloon, so it remains in the same relative position. You can alter such details as the drop shadow feathering, which determines how soft the edges are on the shadow. You can also control the size of the shadow relative to the original object or text and the color of the shadow.